All right, everybody, welcome back. We are here now with offensive line coach and offensive coordinator Mike Flesh ahead of Saturday's season opener against UC Davis. We'll go to Jim McGill from Bear Insider for the first question. Hey, Mike. Um, first season as offensive coordinator at Cal. Uh, obviously, it's got to be a, a big moment for you. Can you talk a little bit about those feelings for you? I know you've done it before at North Texas, but um, what's it going to be like walking on the field, uh, being in charge of the offense this year? Yeah, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited, you know, for for the opportunity that Coach Wilcox has blessed me with. I'm excited, you know, to see our players go out and compete. You know, my my job as the offensive coordinator is is to take information and to take scheme and to take techniques and fundamentals and teach our players and to give them a tool belt to go out and execute on game day. And so, uh, going into the first game, I think that's the thing I'm most excited about. We've really uh, put a huge emphasis in spring ball and fall camp and, and getting better at the little things. And, and that's what I want to see show up on Saturday. Early in camp, uh, looked like the offense was rolling fairly well, quarterbacks um, moving the ball. And I think it seemed like the defense had caught up sort of mid-camp. Since we haven't been able to see practices, how do you feel like the offense has progressed? And how comfortable are you heading into the season that you're going to be able to accomplish early on what you're setting out to do? Yeah, I mean, when nobody knows us better than our defense, right? I mean, we went 15 practices in, in spring ball and another just 25 practices in the last, you know, 30 days. So uh, they've seen us 35 days in a row. I would I would hope that they would have a pretty good plan in place to, to stop us. And we've seen them 35 days in a row too. But, you know, I try not to get caught up in – uh, scheming for our defense. I try to get in, get caught up in, in teaching our guys the techniques and fundamentals and uh, adjustments to what we're going to do offensively and what our bread and butter is. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be exciting to go out and, and play some people that don't get to go against us every week. So it's sort of a TBD thing with the, how you expect your offense to flow right now. No, I, I expect us to flow very well. You know, um, we've definitely uh, had, a, had a good – probably last seven days, I think our guys are really starting to kind of come into their own um, as we've gotten into the game plan and started to install some different things, uh, different formations, different motions, adjustments, things like that. It's It's been uh, really good. I thought we had a good practice today. All right, we'll go to Thomas Dunn from Brighton, California. Uh, good afternoon, Mike. You've had uh, some limited time now with the uh, in-helmet communication, having the iPads on the sidelines so you can help correct anything that needs to be. How have you found the balance of responsibility between looking at those things and being ready to go to your offensive lineman so that you can tweak live and go from drive to drive and making sure that they're developing as you want them to? Yeah, I mean, obviously that's going to be a learning experience for everybody on the sideline this year. We have we got just a little bit of uh, practice with that in, in one of our scrimmages. The, the helmet-to-helmet -helmet communication we've had – um, all of all of fall camp and a little bit of spring ball. So I feel really good about that. I think the quarterbacks are comfortable with that. Uh, the, you know, the key is, I, I believe, when, when we get off the field and, and we make adjustments, let's identify a couple things that we need to talk about as an offense that I need to get corrected with the offensive line, and then let's get to it. You know, I don't want to uh, spend – I don't want our players spending the entire game just either on the field or staring at an iPad. You know, we need to make adjustments. We need to move on. Those guys need to hydrate and get get up and, and get ready to go for the next series. So uh, we'll be very particular in the things that we address and, and the things that uh, we show our guys and, and try to get that done pretty quickly. Thank you. We'll go to Jeff Corrado from the Cal Sports Report. Yeah, Mike, um, awful lot of change on both sides of the ball in terms of personnel with, with, with the transfer portal. Can you talk about the challenge of integrating those guys uh, into your offense and also just kind of what you're seeing from them. Yeah, it's been it's been good. You know, a lot of those guys showed up in January whenever uh, I really got to kind of dive in and, and start building the offense the way that we were going to we were going to carry it. So uh, those guys that got here in January have uh, essentially had, you know, the last eight months, almost nine months to to really, you know, start from the ground floor. And then the guys that got here in June, have done a phenomenal job. I, I will say when you bring guys in out of the transfer portal, uh, you're bringing in guys that have played football. Uh, conceptually, a lot of things that in college football carry over. Um, you know, for example, everybody runs inside zone. Everybody 
we'll run some choice routes, things like that. And so the guys that have played a lot of football and are and are, you know, have have that football mind, they've they can those guys take take the information and run with it. You know, it's the freshmen that come in that, you know, going from high school football to college football is, is the huge jump. You know, going from division one football to division one football is uh, those guys have done a great job of integrating and, and uh, being being locked in and ready to go because they know they have to be when you come into a place and you're trying to compete for a job. You know, first and foremost, you better know what you're doing. Thanks, Mike. Yep. We'll go to Joaquin Ruiz from the Daily Cal next. Hey, Coach, just wanted to ask about the, you know, you guys have a stacked wide receiving transfer portal group coming in this is their first game off together what's that looking like and uh, what's your outlook on them as a bunch in week one yeah I'm excited about our receivers you know we went out and addressed some some needs um, you know from a size and speed standpoint and and just depth um, you know we want to play with tempo we want to we want to snap the ball 80 90 times a game uh, so we got to have more than three or four guys that can play and I think you know, looking at our guys as they've gone through spring ball and fall camp, we definitely feel like the depth uh, in that room is is really improved, and I'm excited to see really all of those guys compete. We'll go to Cody Henderson from the League Winners next. Hey, Coach. Ideally, how many carries would you like to see Jaden Nod average per game this season? Yeah, you know, I think that's going to be a feel thing, you know. Um, we we want to we want to to give our best player the football, and we also want to take care of our best player and know what's what's coming down the stretch here uh, as we go through this long season. So um, you know that'll be something that him and I and uh, Coach Wilcox and Coach Thompson will all kind of be in communication with uh, on game day. But you know if if he's rolling and feeling good, man, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hesitate to give him another shot. Jim, I think you're muted. Sorry about that. Uh, Mike, you, you've done a lot of rotating with Fernando and Chandler, uh, a quarterback, and then a lot of mixing and matching at offensive line, trying to get the five best guys out there. Is it your intention to, to have your starting lineup on the field all week this week working together? Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as the offensive line is concerned, I'll start there. You know, those guys, the the five guys that have pretty much been rolling with that first group the last couple of weeks, uh, anticipate those five guys being on the field first. But I I, I do think that I'm, I'm going to try to get some other guys in the in the game and you know see how they handle that situation. And you know, as far as the quarterback, it's it's really the the same thing. You know, our goal throughout all of fall camp is been to uh, find the guy that, that we can move the ball with most consistently. Uh, I think both of those guys have done a tremendous job of improving uh, this fall, and we have a great plan of action for Saturday, and I know Coach Wilcox can speak on that uh, a little bit later on, on our behalf. Thanks. All right, we'll go to Kyle from the Daily Hey, Coach. Uh, I know the tight end room has high expectations this year with uh, injuries coming off a good season and the transfer, Corey Dietrich. Uh, what have you seen out of those two, and what kind of role do you expect them to fill uh, in this season? Yeah, two really good football players. I mean, we're our, our offense is going to be built around having at least one of those guys on the field at, at all times. Uh, we want to play out of 11 personnel. I think we can build a lot more formations and make defenses have to uh, defend a lot more football with having a tight end on the field, but we're also asking those guys to do a lot of things. You know, we want them in the backfield. We want them on the ball. We want them split out at receiver. Um, and, and so, you know, they're the moving, they're the moving chess piece of our offense and, and they've done a tremendous job. You know, Jack as a freshman last year had a great year and to be able to bring a guy like Corey in who's played big time football and, and has been able to play at a high level. It, and he just another testament to a guy that, uh, came in ready to go and, and was very serious about what he wanted to get accomplished here at Cal. Thank you, Coach. Yep. All right, and we'll go to Matt Moreno from Cal Rivals for the next question. You mentioned having, obviously, an entire offseason with this group, but how much will you not know until the first couple games play out with your group? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, 
there's always some unknown going in the first game. I mean, if you watched any college football uh, this this weekend, you just you see some things that show up, and those are the situations and uh, things that we you try like heck as a coach to to cover as you go through fall camp and as you uh, go through preseason. But until guys really get on the field, um, the coaches are on the sideline and they are making real time decisions and having to execute at a high level, you know, sometimes you don't know. Now for us, I, you know, the good thing is for me, I know a lot of our guys, we do have a lot of pieces coming back from last year and I've been on the field with those guys. I've been in the locker room with those guys at halftime and been able to make adjustments. And so, you know, that's a comfort comfort piece, but you know, for the new guys, it'll be, it'll be fun to watch those guys go out and actually play for the first time.